I love this little guy. Hi guys, and welcome to my first video. Today is a very special day because may the fourth be with you. Yes. So what better way to celebrate May the 4th than to make something, or I should say sew something, to represent stars. This little guy is my inspiration for my DIY for the day. Grogu is sporting a cute flight jacket. Uh, looks a little more tattered and Mandalorian. We're gonna make mine inspired by the Grogu flight jacket. I went over to Hobby Lobby. I didn't want it to be crazy expensive or anything. And this is it. Yeah, she's gonna be cute. There's a little fleece lining here and it's like a faux shearling material. It's super soft. I am planning on making a variation. The Carly Aviator jacket from stylark.com. For those of you guys who don't know, the Carly Aviator jacket is based on the Acne Studios shearling jacket um, and that retail price is around $3,000. No thank you ma'am. We're gonna make it cropped, we're gonna make it cute, and yeah, by the time you see this video, May the 4th will be in the past. So yeah, let's, let's get to work. So I just wanted to show you what the actual body of the Carly Aviator looked on someone my height, which is five feet, five feet tall people. So it's not the most flattering cut for me. What I plan on doing is I'm going to chop it so it's super cropped and I think I'm gonna make it just a little smaller because it's supposed to have an oversized fit as well. So I'm gonna like, you know, choose a smaller size up top and then just like regular size on the bottom. Okay, so this is 12 number two. And as you can see, a lot has changed. I don't have a separating zipper for this, but that's okay. I just wanted to see how it would work. But yeah, I think she's real cute. I attached the big collar, so it's like that. There's, there's supposed to be buckles, I'm not sure. I don't think I wanna put them in. I just wanna keep it very simple. Um, like grill moves. But um, yeah, I really like it. I like the crop. Um, I think it looks so much better with my figure. And the sleeves are pretty good. It's nice and roomy. Um, with the, the other fabric, obviously it's gonna be thicker. I think this is the winner. I'm gonna have to take this apart because I did make a lot of modifications um, in terms of the zipper slant. Um, and I made the shoulders smaller. As you can see, it fits a lot better. It's not so oversized, but yeah, I love how wide this is and how it like juts out. So yeah, what do you think? Should we do this? Let's do this. Oh my lord. Collar done so far. This is the inside. This is what will be showing when it's folded down. And this is like around the neck. So there'll be raw edges showing, but that's the whole point. It's so soft. So what I'm doing to prevent coming out is I took some packaging tape 
This is advice I got online. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. And I am just pulling on the seam and it should get the majority of the furs that are falling out off. Yay! Do I want to make pockets or do I not want to make pockets? Hmm. Okay, so what I decided to do with the pockets so it wouldn't be so ridiculously bulky, um, I have some Kona cotton that I'm gonna put on the front side and then on the back side, it's the regular material so that it'll blend in with the inside because I'll tack this down to the front side. Pockets are the shit. Boom. Happy Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> so, the progress update. It's going pretty good. Let me show you the progress. Ta-da! So, a couple things. This is the collar. It's not attached yet. Um, I have yet to cut the sleeves out, but what I am contemplating is making a top stitch along here and here to, and actually here as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to just make it a nicer finish. It probably will. Also in the back. Do I need it in the back as well? I don't know. I'm hoping I have enough fabric actually for the sleeves. Let's continue, shall we? Cute. Yes. This is what we have so far. Um, I have the collar. It's not stiff enough to pop up, but that's okay. Cause she's a little long. If I, if I popped her up, she'd be like that, which is cute, but, um, yeah, not so much. Anyways, so I have to add the sleeves in still. I have to tack the pockets down and then I'm going to be adding a little fur trim on the bottom. And I think a little fur trim on around my, um, wrists. I mean, you guys don't even know how much sleeves terrify me. Like, but I did it. They're not perfect, but they're good enough. You guys, it's finished. Oh my gosh. So the Carly Aviator jacket is super long and I basically chopped it super short and um, I took out the zipper pockets that are supposed to be here, actually lower because of how long it was and I just chopped it basically where the zipper started um, and this is literally um, like a 10 inch zipper separating zipper and instead of making the zipper pockets I just added them on the front side seams so yeah um and I also made the little fur trims on the wrists and also around the bottom smaller and let me open this up because you will soon see all the raw edges are exposed um which I don't mind at all um as soon as I did it, I thought it was totally fine. It's not too thick, and I think it's subtle enough that it doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah, this is the Frankenstein facing. So this is a piece here, this is a piece here, this is a piece here, and this is a piece here. Rather than buying more fabric, I figured let's be more sustainable and it's busy enough that you can barely tell unless you point it out. So yeah, if it's folded, yeah, you can barely tell. You can see a little seam line, but totally fine. Yeah. And then the proud moment of them all, my label. 
what's cute about it. Hang on. It has my name on the underside. It's teeny tiny. Um, for those of you who don't know, I sell handmade face masks on Etsy. That's slowing down, so now I have time to make some stuff for myself and use up the fabric stashes that I have. So, yeah, super proud. Yay! Yeah, this has been a really fun project and I hope that you guys join me on other journeys. I love getting vintage patterns and sewing vintage patterns. Um, and I just love hacking into commercial patterns as well. And I love doing commercial patterns. So um, that and anything DIY is my jam. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.